At this point, we know that the shutter speed is really the only thing changing in our overall exposure equation when shooting a bracketed HDR sequence, meaning that basically the camera is controlling the shutter speed to give us our median exposure and then to darken the image, then to brighten the image. But is there an optimal shutter speed for our median exposure when we're shooting a bracketed sequence? The answer to this is absolutely, and it really depends on the overall scene, but we're gonna discuss that here. Now there's two potential issues we can run into when it comes to shutter speed. Number one is an actual shutter speed limitation caused by the camera itself. Most DSLRs, they can only shoot up to one eight thousandth of a second. That's the fastest shutter speed that they can shoot at. Number two, or the second potential issues that can arise due to shutter speed is dealing with either motion blur or ghosting. There are differences between the two and we will talk about them a little bit later on, but these are the two things that we need to think about in regards to shutter speed. Now to help you understand, let's work through some scenarios in both sides of this spectrum, starting with shutter speed limitations. Now let's say we're starting off with a median exposure. We'll say our aperture and ISO are set to some arbitrary value. It really doesn't matter, but ceteris paribus guys, ceteris paribus. All right. So our shutter speed is the only thing changing. And let's say we start with our median exposure at one two thousandth of a second. So one two thousandth of a second is our median to go one stop under. So to go one stop to the darker side, we're going to not like Star Wars, the dark side, but the darker side. All right. We go to one four thousandth of a second. Then to go to two stops, we're at one eight thousandth of a second. At one eight thousandth of a second, we've already hit our shutter limitation. Basically, our camera cannot go any lower to further reduce the brightness of the image, meaning that if we were to shoot a three frame three stop bracketed sequence, not a two stop, but a three stop bracketed sequence, the camera wouldn't be able to shoot that darkest image if it started out at one two thousandth of a second for the median exposure. Because again, one two thousandth, one four thousandth is one stop darker, one eight thousandth is two stops darker, and now we've hit the limit, we can't go to one sixteen thousandth to get three stops darker. So that's basically the limitation we run into on the shutter speed side. And this is why when we talked about the optimal, basically amount of exposure value difference is two stops because at three stops, you start to run into issues, not only at the limitation side, but also on the motion side, because we're basically going so far, uh, making such a large adjustment in exposure value between our bracketed sequence. So if we were to be shooting a three frame, two stop bracketed sequence, the maximum shutter speed for our median exposure would be one two thousandth of a second, because then at one eight thousandth of a second, that's two stops under. Then we go one one thousandth, one five hundredth of a second, that's two stops brighter. Now, if we're shooting a three frame, three stop bracketed sequence, then our maximum uh, shutter speed for that median exposure becomes one one thousandth of a second. Then we go one stop is one two thousandth, two stops is one uh, 4,000th and then three stops darker is one 8,000th. And we can actually reach that point again at one 1,000th of a shutter speed, uh, for our median exposure with a three frame, three stop, uh, exposure value difference, we're going to one 500th on the brighter side, one two fiftieth, and then one one twenty fifth to go three stops brighter. So on the slower side, let's say once again, this time we're going with a median, uh, exposure of one 500th of a second. Well, to go two stops brighter, we have to go to one two, uh, two fiftieth and then one five hundredth, and that's two stops. To go three stops, I'm sorry, one two fiftieth and one one twenty fifth. <laughs> and then to go three stops, we go down to one sixtieth of a second. Now at one sixtieth and at one one twenty fifth of a second, we are gonna be seeing motion blur with moving objects. So, and they don't even have to be moving that fast. Someone that's at a standard walking speed would be picked up and blurring over one one sixty or one sixtieth of a second. This presents a problem with motion blur on the basically the longer shutter duration side. And that's again, why it's difficult to shoot with a three stop bracketed sequence. So three frame, three stops becomes not so optimal because anything that's moving in the scene, regardless of that median exposure has the potential to basically cause motion blur in those brighter images. Okay. So we have kind of some, 
limitations there that we need to think about. So with shutter speed, the optimal shutter speed is really going to depend on the overall scene, whether or not there are moving objects in the scene, whether or not we need to create, say, some sort of motion effect uh, in the scene by dragging the shutter or doing things like that. Like when we want to drag the shutter to create smooth, silky water, then that median exposure might be one or it might be actually like five seconds or even up to, say, I think the maximum you can go is like 7.5 seconds with a two stop. Uh, a three frame two stop exposure sequence because why again we're going from say 7.5 seconds on this side when we go to the brighter side now we're going to 15 seconds and that's 30 seconds for the two stop brighter shot 30 seconds is once again a camera limitation we can't go beyond 30 seconds unless we're using a shutter release so these are the shutter speed considerations that we need to think about whenever we're approaching a scene to shoot. Are there moving objects in the scene that we need to freeze? Are there objects in the scene that we want to basically create some sort of cool motion effect? Are we gonna run into our 30 second shutter speed limitation on the slow side or run into the 1 8,000th limitation on the quick side? We wanna think about all these things and that is basically the reason why we most of the time will stick with a three frame two stop bracketed sequence because it's generally the safest. It'll yield the best results. It'll give us the widest variety in basically choosing shutter speeds. And typically our shutter speeds for most shots, when we want to basically freeze motion is gonna range between one 500th of a second and one 2,000th of a second for that median exposure. All right, so hopefully this helps. We're gonna keep working through examples and by the time we're done, this concept should be absolutely solidified and ingrained in your mind. Mm -hmm. So let's go on now to the next video.